regular expressions and tools you can use to test regex. You will also learn about the patterns used in FortisIM parser. After completing this lesson, you should be able to achieve the objective shown on this slide. In this section, you will learn about basic regex functionality. A regex is a string of meta characters that defines a certain pattern. It is used to find the pattern in a string of characters like logs. Regex patterns are used to find exact matches. A match can be a piece of text or sequence of bytes or characters that pattern was found to correspond to the regex. So if the pattern is a lowercase a, it will only match lowercase a. The pattern Cisco will only match Cisco with an uppercase c. You can use the pipe character, which means or, to further enhance the pattern match. So a pattern of a pipe z will match an uppercase a or a lowercase z. Regex also supports meta character matches. For example, backslash s will match a single white space and backslash s plus will match one or more white spaces. Similarly, backslash d will match a single digit and backslash d plus will match one or more digits. The backslash w pattern will match a single word character. This will match any letter, number, or underscore. Similarly, backslash w plus will match one or more word characters. You can combine regex characters to match a string. For example, if you create the regex pattern Cisco backslash s backslash w plus, it will match Cisco with an uppercase c, then a single space, then one or more word characters. So the regex pattern Cisco backslash s backslash w plus will match the strings Cisco ASA or Cisco PIX. The backslash D backslash S backslash D plus regex pattern will match digits. This particular pattern will match a single digit followed by a single space followed by one or more digits. For example, 55 five or 2212. Two, this slide shows some advanced regex patterns. For example, the backslash D curly brackets to curly brackets pattern will match only two digits. You can reference the table shown on this slide when creating regex to match strings and patterns for syslog. This slide shows the special character supported by regex. You've already learned about the pipe character, which means or. So any regex containing the pipe character will do an or match. So what happens when you want to exactly match a pipe character in a string? To match these special characters in a string, you need to add the escape character when constructing the regex. For example, backslash pipe will match the pipe character in a string. Similarly, if you want to match the string 1 plus 1 equals 2, you will have to add the escape character before the plus sign because the plus sign is a special regex character. So the regex pattern you will need to match 1 plus 1 equals 2 is 1 backslash plus 1 equals 2. It is also a good practice to escape the closing square and curly brackets. You can create parsers in the FortisIM GUI. The best practice is to use a good text-based editor with an XML interpreter such as Windows Notepad++, which is supported on Windows, Sublime Text or Text Wrangler, which is supported on OS X. There are various regex tools available such as the regex coach which is supported on windows regxrx which is supported on os x you can test your regex with text or a string that you want to match there are many websites available to create or test regex such as www.regex101.com In this section, you will learn about parser patterns. In FortisM, there is a concept of parser pattern definitions. Parser pattern definitions specify regex that may be reused repetitively. These can be global patterns that apply to every parser, or local patterns that apply to just the parser they have been defined in. Both global patterns and local patterns are specified using regex. A number of regex functions are stored on the back end of FortisIM. 
If you are referencing those in your XML code while writing a parser, this means you are referencing global patterns. In some cases, while writing a parser, if you need to create your own regex function to match a specific string which is not covered by global patterns, then the regex is called a local pattern because it will be available for that parser only. You can then reference these patterns in the parser to match data and extract fields. All of these regex function patterns are stored in a backend file, as shown on this slide. You can reference the pattern in your XML code while creating a parser by using the tag shown on this slide. Never edit the general pattern definitions.xml file as your changes will be lost during the next firmware upgrade. This slide shows the list of common global patterns available in Fortisim. The global set of regex patterns will be referenced by the pattern name. For example, the global pattern GPAT syslog PRI shown on the slide will match the priority field provided in the C data section. You can reference this pattern in your XML code by name, which will invoke the regex to match syslog priority. Similarly, the GPAT mon pattern will match a month in syslog messages. All of the global pattern names start with GPAT, which is short for global pattern. This slide shows more out-of-the-box global patterns. If you look at the pattern name, GPAT year, the regex inside the C data tags will match the year in either two or four digit formats, for example, 15 or 2015. This slide shows some more global pattern examples. If you look at pattern name GPAD Word, the regex for this pattern is backslash W+. This will match one or more word characters. If the out-of-the-box global patterns do not fit your needs, you can define your own regex patterns to be referenced by the parser. These are called local patterns. Local patterns are created in the format as shown on this slide. The pattern name can be anything, but as a good practice, it is recommended to start with pat and then a descriptive name. Local patterns are required to be enclosed within the pattern definition start and end tags using the format shown on this slide. If you create a local pattern, it is important to remember that it can be referenced only by the parser you have written it in. You can write pattern lists if you have a very long list of words you want to match. You can write long pattern definitions across multiple lines as shown on this slide. The list should include begin in the first line and end in the last line. If it's more than two lines, it should include continue in the middle lines as shown on this slide. The slide shows an example of a local pattern list. The list is looking to match a long list of words in Cisco iOS logs. To make this pattern more manageable, you can split it by using a local pattern list. You should also enclose local pattern lists within the pattern definitions start and end tags. The main reason to have global and local patterns is usability. Using out of the box global patterns or creating local patterns allows you to reference them as many times as you need when creating a parser without having to create regex all over the parser code. The substitution of regex with global and local patterns keeps the parser code more manageable and easier to troubleshoot when issues occur. This slide shows an example of matching a syslog header, which would have constantly changing values for month, time, and so on. By using the global patterns, the parser code remains simple. This slide shows the objectives that you covered in this lesson. By mastering the objectives covered in this lesson, you learned about regular expressions and tools you can use to test regular expressions. You also learned about the patterns used in Fortisim Parser.